Oh, it was, it was an unforgettable moment. I obviously never knew that like that had happened at all. Like I think Matt told me after the race and it was just a crazy feeling like being told that by someone that you respect so much that you've like made history and stuff like that. It was just, it was just amazing. Like I'm lost for words still. It doesn't really process to me until people like really say it. I'm like, oh, like I'm always gonna be that person. That's the first woman in Mammoth to place gold. That's crazy. Um, it's a surreal feeling, like touching the wall, seeing your time was a new PB for me, so I was pretty stoked with that first of all. And then realising the fact that you've also won in that like short amount of time, like there's so much going on, hearing everyone cheering, not knowing if it's like Monmouth at first or Ryder or someone else or Bryant for example, but then just hearing them all cheer, you don't know like what's going on, it's so like quick, it's like within split second you've like realised you've done a PB, won the race, and you look up and see like the coaches and like the whole men's team going crazy, it's just a great experience really. Like, I've never really had that like massive atmosphere for races. Like obviously you've had your team behind you, but like with the cheering being right on pool deck and stuff like that, it's just it's amazing. The nerves definitely push you. It helps you in the pool. Behind the block, I just tell myself I've trained, I've done the work, and if I get in, I'll just do what I have to do. And... Like I need to swim well. The coaches have trusted me to swim well. When there's people like right on your heels that are like pushing for that spot as well. So you know when you're getting up on the block, you have to swim as fast as you can. A lot of hard work. Um, you know, we start in September, right when school starts, and MAC championships aren't until February, so it's a, it's a long grind for them, um, and a lot of potential pitfalls along the way. It starts when we get here. We train the minute we get to school till we leave for MAC, and then we have a little break, but it's a sport where you always have to train and train hard day in and day out and but it makes it worth it in the end. Um, well mentally you have your goals set for like a while but like as you close in on that the coaches really nail it in at training like like hit the pace that you want to go for the race and stuff like that so like leading up to it you're like most of your time when you're not like spent studying or doing or just swimming it's really just thinking about like how the race is going to go like how fast you want to go it out like how fast you have to bring it back all this stuff like the splits that make up the whole time so it turns into a lot more of like the small things with each race, rather than just like the big picture of that stage. You know, just a lot of hard work, dedication and commitment. Swimming's a sport where you're grinding day in and day out, staring at a line on the bottom of the pool. You know, it's not always the most exciting thing in terms of, you know, the day to day, but, um, you know, they put in a ton of hard work to get to where they are. All three of the coaches, they've just been amazing. Like, being from Australia, obviously, like, I need a little bit more, like, guidance with everything, not just like, not just the swimming program, but also the academics with it. Going on my recruiting trip and meeting them, I automatically loved the connection we had. It, it's not what I'm used to, but it's better. But when I came here, I felt like I was doing stuff for a purpose. Just excitement, excitement for them to, to see them achieve the goal that they had and also just you know set a standard for mom and swimming that we hope to, to use in the future for some of our future athletes of what our expectations are and where we want to be. Yeah, I can tell the bar has raised over the years and, I'm th and I can tell already next year it's raised. Oh, I'm so excited for the future of this program. Like as a freshman leading into this like next four years of my life with Monmouth, that's pretty crazy and just being able to like shape the way for the next four years and like even after that as well was just, it's a great feeling.